This ain't gonna work here. Hey everybody, Josh here, Hardville Makes. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to do a little project for leather. This is my bread and butter. I picked up leather working a couple years ago and uh, I made this for a friend and it turns out that it's a little thicker weighted leather than, than I'd like. So we're gonna redo that with, with some thinner weight and go from there. So let's get started. The leather I'm using in this project is full grain veg tan leather. Full grain is a reference to the quality of leather and veg tan how it is tanned or processed. This leather is considered three ounce, which references the thickness of the leather or the weight. Three ounce leather is about 1.2 millimeters thick. Here I'm tracing the old notebook and using a straight edge to cut it out. It's easier to get the general shape from the big rule and then fine tune the cuts and measurements. I found coins work best for me for rounded corners. Different sized coins work well for different sized corners. Always try to wear gloves when dyeing leather. Remember, leather is made from flesh. That's stuff that covers your body. This dye is permanent, so it can be tough to get off your hands. Here I'm pouring two different colored dyes together, light brown and black. I'm trying not to blend them together in the plate, but instead have sort of a marbled look on the leather. This technique can turn out to have a really neat effect on the final product. I dyed the inside of the notebook cover black. I think it makes a neat contrast to the brown outside.
Here I'm burnishing the edges. It adds a nice polished look to the final product. Here I'm fitting the notebook in the cover. The leather is damp from all the dye and allows me to form it easily. Punching holes to weave the elastic string that holds the notebook in the cover in sort of a Midori notebook style. bit more fitting and final forming, I like to use the wooden mallet and roll over the bins. stamping my maker's mark, my initials, in its usual spot. one of my favorite steps. Just putting some conditioner on the leather and now to let it soak in.
Here you can see how the dyeing turned out. I love the contrast of how the dark and lighter shades kind of flow together. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us on this project. Had a really good time making this. The project itself, the video for you guys, this turned out really cool. I hope you guys learned something. I know I did. I'm always nervous making that first cut into that big roll of leather and then putting on the first bit of dye. As in life, it's, it's a culmination of a bunch of small things that add up to one big, beautiful picture. And so this turned out really great. I'm sure my friend will really like it and I'm really excited about it. Some of the cool things, I don't know if you can see it here, but that big kind of scar looking thing right there is, that's a scar, especially when you're dealing with, with full grain leather. Uh, the cow or the animal had, you know, rubbed up against a barbed wire fence or, or whatever and, and got cut. Oftentimes you'll see see things like that and, and that's to me that's kind of really special that it's unique You don't see that in a lot of things and so I like to try to you know use those as, as a centerpiece on, on my leather You can cut around them. You can have beautiful Perfect pristine, but I like the imperfections and so I, I always try to include them if I can Yeah, this turned out great really enjoyed it stick around watch some of the other videos on the channel I'm sure we'll put some either here or Maybe here, or down there. You know how it goes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, next video coming out on Friday. Not 100% sure what it's gonna be. So, but we release every Tuesday and every Friday, at least for now. Hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Y'all be good people and peace out.